All right, it's Monday the 18th of July. We're back here five days on from our renovations. As you can see, the feed's kicked in nice. So it's due a cut. What we don't do is then leave it to get out of hand and then we can't bring it back. So we do a cut after five days. Today we're gonna to do that with the rotary, or I think on number two, and then we're gonna head over the other side and give that a little scarify with the Alex Sterling. So stay tuned and join me in a sec. Who says you can't do lawn renovations when it's in the 30s? All right, so just cut that on number two with the hater. Looking good. Nothing much more to do here today other than water just to protect us against any heat stress from today and definitely from the weather that's coming tomorrow because it's supposed to be 35 here. But hopefully you can see already that the two lawns are starting to come together and look pretty much the same. So yeah, happy. So let's go and start on the other side. Okay, so we're just about to start on this side. So it's looking really good. Steve's been busy over the weekend watering because I can't see any signs of damage. So well done. Now, what we're going to do is just because we've been cutting up and down a long time now, you know, a few weeks, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to cut it with a rotary on number two and just go back against my stripes. So I'm going to come downhill here and up there and back down. And what that will do, it'll just stand the grass back up so it's pointing in the right direction. Because what happens is when you keep mowing the same way, even with this type of grass, it starts growing and um, at a 45 degree angle, kind of anticipating being cut in that direction. So we're going to reset it today. And then we can start putting the stripes back in once we've scarified it and everything's reset. So get the hair to it, well it's already out, and then we'll take it from there. Just a close up, looking lovely and green, getting a bit too thick. July, generally, end of July, that's when brown patch and anthracnose properly come on a rye lawn. So we're going to try and protect against that uh, just by giving it a scarify today. So let's do that and see how it looks. Can you see now how the grass is uh, just pointing up a bit more and the stripes out as defined? So that's what we wanted to achieve. So today I'm going to try something different. I'm actually going to scarify twice at a 45 degree angle on the, both, both ways. And then we're not actually kind of either putting the stripe back in or taking it out even more. So we'll do that instead. And hopefully that again will get rid of any ribs or starting of ribs that uh, are appearing due to the mowing up and down all the time. All right, so it's time to change over the cartridge. Very simple as in previous videos. I've just put a little staple there, just stop it rolling down the hill. So it's just lift two tabs, push a green lever, lift that up and out. Pick one up, find the angle in, lock it. There you go, easy. So again, let's just adjust our height to what we want. Yesterday we went down to two mil, didn't we? So I think I'm going to do that again knowing I'm going to be fine here. So we just turn the knob anti-clockwise until we get where we want. Right, done. Let's crack on. So I've just done that one pass and taken off nearly a full box. Honestly, I know I said it in my last video when we did that, but we're just doing a lot of vertical cutting and scarifying at the moment in the videos. But I just never kind of get my head around how much comes out, honestly, even after all these years of doing it. Like, this is no exception, because I thought this was pretty clean, but look at that, it's not. But again, it can only be a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other pass now go in the other direction, see what we get out. And then it's lifted the grass quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to go on with the hater on number two. I'm going to crisscross again and then cut finally with the cylinder uh, with sterling there on the other diagonal and we'll leave the job with diamond stripes today. So that should be nice. Right, so a double pass completed and it actually took off another box even though I didn't actually reduce the height or anything. So now we're going to go on with the hater on number two, like I said, just to trim off those long bits that have now stood up on end and then we'll get on with the sterling, with the cylinder cassette in. So we're looking really, really good. What I'm going to do now is switch the cartridge over on the outlet, put the cylinder cassette back in. But what we're going to do is we're going to time it and see how long it took. Because I'm going to try and do it in my quickest time. So join me in a second. So I said we'd say how quick we could change this over. I've been doing it quite a lot recently, so I should be a master. So let's see how quick we can do it. Press. Out. In. Stop. Press. Done. So I've been on the factor. Okay, so now we've got the cylinder back in. Time to finish the cut. I said I was going to go left to right both ways, didn't I? One with the hater and then with the alert. But just because the sun's shining, nice. I am going to go up and down instead and change my mind. Because we've done such a good job with the scarifying, the stripes are no longer really visible. So I'm just going to go up and down. Okay, so I decided to go on at 18 mil. So we've got a nice grass box, half full, lovely fine clippings. So it looks absolutely beautiful. Wouldn't know we'd done two passes with a scarifier, two passes with a hater, and one cut with a cylinder. So looking really good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on with some Grace and some Saw Pro just to help with these stressful times at the moment. And what this is going to do, it's going to slow down the grass's metabolism and get rid of any ethylene, which is produced when the grass gets stressed out of the system because if it's left in there it'll do damage and that's what we don't want so on with that next and then we're going to give it a good water straight away so just thought i'd give you a close-up so nice so dense but also aerated now because we've run the scarifier through it it's just so this seed is just brilliant i can't fault it disease resistance color density all what you're looking for in a grass seed and this just delivers all three. So time to get on with that soap on grace. All right, so that is another video done and dusted. We're firing them out this week. While it's nice because once the rain comes, it's gonna be very difficult for me to do them. So I've proved that you can scarify when it's hot. Like I say, it's 35 degrees now and you'd never know we'd been. So don't let old wives' tales or old man's gardener's myths put you off doing what you want to do. As long as you're willing to water after, it's fine. So like we said, put the soap on Grace on. Steve's going to water that in tonight. And then this is put to bed then until the next day when we cut it. So enjoy the sun, have a beer, and we'll see you next time.